guys, welcome to part 3 on how to make a Cinderella Charmor figurine. Um, I'm sure I left off when we placed all our rims and extension pieces and we made one arm and I forgot to tell you that um, after we place this diagonal band, we're going to take this band off, those two bands, and we're going to, we're going to take a single white, just a single white, and I'm going to lay it here. Now I'm going to take those double blue bands and I'm going to place it back on. And I'm going to do the same thing. Take these bands off, taking a single white, placing it right here, then putting it back on. So now we're going to place the arm on this right here where we placed our white band. Now I'm going to make another arm. I'm going to wrap a band creating three loops. And I'm going to take two white over bands. Two white bands and I'm going to pull those loops through. Like that. Now I'm going to take double of my white bands again. I'm going to pull those loops through. Now I'm going to take double of my skin tone bands. I'm going to pull them through. I'm going to do one more link of it. Like that. So you should have four links total. You should have two whites and one cap band and two of the skin tone band. Now I'm going to take the color of her dress. Which is double blue rubber bands again. Sorry. Going to take it and I'm going to pull those loops through. Now I'm going to take another two blue rubber bands like this. I'm going to put it on my hook and pull it through. So this is what you should have. Now we're going to place this on our loom. Place it on our loom. I'm going to put my loom sideways so it's kind of easier for me. Like that. Now we're going to put our horizontal bands. I'm going to take one of it. I'm going to I'm going to place a triangle on this peg like that. And I'm going to grab this one end. I'm going to twist it back to itself. And I'm going to fold it over like that. So you basically kind of double loop that band. Now I'm going to do it again. Taking a single band, going to place it on a triangle. I'm going to take this end, I'm going to twist it. Then I'm going to grab this end and I'm going to going to fold it back over itself like that. Now I'm going to take one more blue band. We're not gonna we're not gonna use any blues anymore. So now what I'm going to do is that you see this um, extension piece for the dress. You should see that like a uh, four bands right here of the um, links and now I'm going to take the top two take it off so this is what it looks like right now top two it's kind of like hooking it here but I'm going to grab it on my hook so now I'm going to take a band I'm going to twist double it on my fingers this time because I don't have my oh uh, I'm not going to do it on the loom. 
when to place it horizontally, kind of diagonal though. Then I'm going to place this band that's on my hook back on the loom. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take those two sets of bands off. And the two sets that are taking off should be one white and one blue. So I'm going to grab that band. I'm going to pull it to here. Now I'm going to put this band back on. It's like hooking it upwards. So now what we're going to do is I, we're going to make Cinderella's the poofy shoulder right here. That you see right here. So to do that, I'm going to take two rubber bands. Two rubber bands. I'm going to take one of it. So you should have one white band left to use. I'm going to wrap it around my hook three times. Like that. And now I'm going to grab this single band that you should see that we laid. I'm going to put it on my hook and I'm going to slide it through. If you want to, you can put it on this peg and I'm going to pull the loose loops through. After I pull it through, I'm going to take it off that peg. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this back over onto the peg. So I'm going to push this arm down. I'm going to place it right back on. Like that. And now I'm going to do the same thing on the right side. I'm going to take that one white that we have left. I'm going to wrap it around my hook three times. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this band right here. It's this loose band we placed. Put it on my hook. Pull those loops through it. Now I'm going to push the arm down and I'm going to fold this back over. So now you should have the poofy shoulders on each side. Puffy shoulders. And now what I'm going to do is um, we're going to start hooking the bands. So to do the hooking process, go down the loom. We're not going to go inside this band because if we do, then this band will stick out more than this band that we're supposed to that's supposed to that you're supposed to see but then this band will be here so we're just going to stay on the outside and then loop it up so it's going to look a little bit weird but once we take it off it's going to look normal so yeah but in the center we're going to go inside like normal i'm going to grab the band and i'm going to pull it and now I'm, I'm going to do the same thing on this here. We're not going to go inside, we're going to stay on the outside. I'm going to grab these loops and I'm going to pull it up like that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go inside all these bands. I'm going to grab the bottom two. So, grab, so if we look from the side, we should see a link down right here. We're going to grab this band. So, when I go in from here, I'm going to grab the bottom two. And I'm going to loop it upwards. Now I'm going to go inside this peg, grab the bottom two, and I'm going to pull up. So it's kind of high tension, so your bands can snap. I'm going to go in here, grab the bottom two, and I'm going to pull it up. So this is what you should have. I hooked two bands on this side, and then two bands here, and then two bands here I hooked. Now I'm going to go inside all these bands, grab the bottom two, and pull it upwards. Then I'm going to do the same thing, go in here, 
push back all the bands. Make sure you see that band that's not hooked. And I'm going to pull it up. So I'm going to go in here. Now, now, right over here, we're going to have one white and one blue. I'm going to grab it and I'm going to hook it upwards. Going to go into the center, grabbing the bottom two and pulling it up. Then I'm going to go in here, going to grab it and I'm going to pull it upwards. Now I'm going to go in here, going to grab the bands right here. And I'm going to pull it up. So from here on out, it's basically like the triple single bracelet. So I'm just going to go up. So I'm going to go pretty fast because I think I explained enough. So from here on out, it's like a triple single. I'm sure that everyone knows. Kind of getting to the top of my room. Now this is the really, really high tension part because this band's double looped. A ton of bands is on this peg, so your bands can snap. But if you're using Rainbow Moon brand bands, then it should it really can't break that easily. So we're gonna go into this peg. I'm going to grab this bottom band and I'm going to pull it up like that. So you should make a teardrop if you grab the right band. So in here it's pretty easy because there isn't such ton of bands. It's like the same that we've been doing. I'm going to pull up. So if we look from the side, right here on this band that you see, the band right here, this is the band we're going to pull and hook to this peg. So you're going to go in here, grab oh, grab the bands, and I'm going to pull up. And now I'm just going to keep on going. Now again, this is the part that band can snap but I'm just gonna go inside dig down there and grab it I'm gonna grab this band first and then loop it I'm going to pull it inwards and I'm going to go into all these bands I'm going to grab it pull it in now I'm going to go into all these bands grab the neck and pull it up now I can remove everything off of my room. And in this video, I'm going to finish everything. We're going to finish everything in this video. So we're going to make the face after. Before, I just want to say that loose ends right here, and we can't tie a slip knot because this is a neck band. And we're going to attach it to the face. So, we're almost done. So, I'm just going to fit this in one video. Like that. So, now you're going to kind of pull her dress and then even things out. So, now I'm going to make her face. I'm going to take double of. I'm going to take double of my band. I'm going to go vertically. Then I'm going to make her bun. So, I'm going to take a band. I'm going to go vertically. Take double bands. Go diagonally. Like vertically. Diagonally. And then I'm going to do, go diagonally in the opposite way. 
cap this off, creating three loops. I'm going here, grab the two bands, pull it out. Go in here, grab the two bands. And I gotta um, hurry, so I'm going to kind of go fast this time. I'm going to go in here, grab the single band, I'm gonna pull up. I'm gonna tie a slip knot like that. And I'm going to pull it. So now we can remove everything off of our loom. So this is the bun. Now what we're going to do is guide them. Going to go like this. Wait. Oh, let me. I'm gonna go like that. And then I'm going to go with double of my yellow band. I'm gonna go up. I'm going to take double more bands of yellow and go on this side and we're going to take our skin colored bands and then go work in this vertically in the center and go like this and like that and then i'm going to go vertically now we're going to close this off i'm going to go like this diagonally in the center and the diagonally in the center. Now we're gonna make her eyes. We're gonna wrap a band around three, um, wrapping it around three times. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now we're gonna put her bun. So grab the loops and then place it on that peg. So now I'm going to take a gold rubber band, a skin colored band, and then put it across, and then I'm going to double loop it. Like that. And then I'm going to loop the bottom bands over, all of it at a time. Then now I'm going to take the body here, I'm going to place it to this peg to this peg so that it won't like dangle around on this peg. Now we're gonna loop. And make sure you loop um, this vertical band first so the hair will overlap it. So it looks better that way, I think. Now I'm going to loop this in the center. I'm going to grab these bands, grab the bottom two. I'm going to take another hook because it's got to make it. to kind of pull this upwards. Okay, now I'm going to grab the bottom two bands and I'm going to pull it over. Now I can remove everything off of our loom. Like that. This is what you should have. I'm going to grab these two loose ends right here. I'm going to grab them and I'm going to pull it over the bun. Like that. So adjust. And yeah, that is how you make this Cinderella charm. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye.